Hi guys, last time I talked you, I talked you about uh, the hysteresis comparator, so the circuits that, uh, as you can uh, remember, the comparators had this equation here, you just uh, uh, put V in there, and a ground here, or another voltage which we call V1, is the same, you have V plus as a supply and V minus here, and the output voltage will obey this equation. So when Vd is greater than zero, you have that Vo is equal to V plus. And when Vd is less than zero, you have that Vo is equal to V minus, or in most, in most of the cases, this is put to ground, and so this is equal to zero. Uh, you, in the, in, the, in the previous lesson, uh, we have uh, seen on the lattice bias that if you mix a sinus signal, uh, with the noise and here you have a comparator with a threshold TR you have a, a very noisy sign here and so the result as you can remember in the previous video was uh, a very noisy square wave, put it like that, instead of having just a clean square wave. And the result, and the, the, the solution to this, was to design a hysteresis comparator, which gives a feedback on the plus, which uh, takes the output and feedback to the input. But now, in this lesson, I want to show you how to see on lattice spice the so famous characteristic. You do remember that the characteristic of the, the, the Smith trigger, non-inverting Smith trigger, inverting Smith trigger, with reference on, 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 on non-reference voltages, are characteristic make like this. where this is the, the, uh, the window of hysteresis. And this is the reference voltage multiplied by the net beta, which will translate your hysteresis from the origin, from the origin to the desired point. And the same happens when you design the opposite Smith trigger. Whoa! Okay, when you design the opposite Smith, when you design the other Smith trigger, which has the hysteresis on the other side. So it will be beautiful not only to understand this, the physical meaning of this and this, not only to understand the physical meaning of this, uh, of, of this window of hysteresis in real application, but also to represent this on a lattice spice. So how can you do that? Well, first of all, you have to have a clear idea of what you want to design. For this reason, I will use this tool here. Let me zoom on it. So as you can see, the real meaning of this uh, Smith trigger, or the Smith trigger action, is to trigger the voltage at a certain threshold, V2. And it will hold until the signal drops to V2 prime. So, the signal, will, the noisy waveform will rise until V2, and at V2 will be triggered. And it will keep the signal until V2 prime. So even though, here, let me zoom the example. So even though here you have, uh, you should have some triggering in the original Smith trigger, you don't have it because the lower threshold is put to V2, and you are safe from all this noise that you see here. So let me design this on LT Spice. I will leave, I will drop the link on the description. So read the video. So see the watch the video carefully. This is a very useful tool because it will clearly design the Smith, the Smith trigger voltage that you should have in your design. So let's proceed with this example. I put 10 volts, 1 kilo, 2 kilo, and 10 kilo in this kind of a pump. And we expect the trigger voltage to be 3.70 volts and until 2.5. Now, 
Now, from this point, now in this three resistor, you have to remember one golden rule. The resistor are free in the feedback. You can check the formulas and you can have a, a clear idea of what is going on. But remember just this golden rule that uh, this is VCC and it is the same voltage supply the op amp. This is V in and this is the resistor R1. The resistor R3 is the one who decided the the major uh, greatly the amplitude of the window. As you can see, if R3 is 10 kilo ohm, the window is very large. If I put 100 kilo ohm, the window will, will be greatly reduced. Now, what is the purpose of having a large or big window? Well, it depends on the noise, it depends on the system, it depends on, on various factors, but you don't want this, this window to be so big, otherwise you have your signal here and the window is basically like this and you don't have any kind of triggering. So you want to you want to have the, the window to be a, to be a reasonable value like this, for example. This should be a reasonable window. So let me put 10 kilo ohm and the window is one volt. Now let me put this on, on a lattice spice with the same resistances. So let's use universal op amp 2 and let me use the voltage here called VCC which uh, in the majority of the cases uh, is the same voltage used as the reference and also to supply your, your op amp. Let me put this on the ground and let me and let me use the same the same resistor in the same order. R1 now R3 Sorry, R2, put it here. And let me also put uh, uh, R3. The values were 1 kilo ohm, 1 kilo ohm, and 10 kilo ohm. Let me call, the, let me call this voltage here in. Let me put in another part V in. And let me put the classical sine wave between uh, 0 and, I don't know, 4 volts, 1 kilo, sorry, 1 kilohertz. And let me call this voltage out. Now it is very important that you follow me carefully and also with the, with the net name. So let me run the simulation. Let me put 10 volts. Let me check that if the same. 1 kilo, 2 kilo, sorry, it was not the same, 1 kilo, 2 kilo, 10 kilo, and let's go. Stop time, one mil, uh, 10 million. Now, before seeing the result, you have to check that the trickle voltage will be exactly like designed. So before proceeding any further, I will suggest to put on the quantity plotted, instead of time, you put V in. And here you will put on the y-axis, you put the output voltage. So this is the key role of your design. You see that we have the, let me zoom on it, but you have the hysteresis voltage and you have also the, the, the real meaning of this. So now you have a real trans, so now in this video, I hope that you understood the real meaning of this characteristic. So now, as you can see, here it is written, the trigger voltage will be at 3.75. So on LT Spice, we have the 3.75 here. So this is the point, this is the point in which the voltage will be triggered first. And so this is the reason why in most of, of the, uh, the characteristic, you see this kind of arrows going from here to there because this is the way you should look at the characteristic. You should imagine this characteristic to be just like this. 
So the trigger voltage before 3.8 it will be this voltage here and after 3.8 it will be zero. Now when the voltage goes down you have to look in the other waveform here which we call this is called V2 and this is called V2 prime. So now that you're going in the other way around the voltage will be kept to zero until it reaches this voltage here, V2 prime, which in our design is 3.2.2.5. So this is the real meaning of the curve. Now, before seeing this characteristic applied to a real sine wave, let's do the exercise from ourselves. So let me draw my sine wave voltage here between zero, sorry, between minus four and plus four volts. A sine wave should be something like this. And now we have, let me use the threshold here. The first threshold would be at 3.8. Let me put uh, in, a side, in a lower size, 3.8. And the, the lowest threshold will be at 2.5. So I hope that I'm not so I hope that I'm not, I'm not seeing the, the, the contrary, but it should be that the first trigger you should have the first trigger here at 3.8. And the second, and it will fall down not here, but here. And so on. So you, you will see that the, the and so you will see the the square wave. As you can imagine, you will see the square wave. Uh, so yeah, let me use instead of the V in. Let me use uh, the time and let me use uh, another plot. Now that we know that the now that we know that uh, we have uh, um, we can set the threshold here with the constant signal. So uh, how can you how can you do that? You either impose the input voltage with the output uh, and you check the trigger voltage. And as you can see, it is here. But uh, since I want to be sure, I will call that the true voltage is called v, v, V2 and V2 prime. The true threshold that, that I designed. 3.8 and 2.5 Sorry uh... Okay, so now you can so now you can clearly see that the first trigger voltage, it is the red one, as we expected, and the last voltage to be triggered, it is the... Uh, not a 2.5, but uh, very near 2.5. So naturally there are some non-linearities because of the op-amp, but very similar to what we designed. In any case, remember to check always uh, the characteristic by putting the input voltage versus the output here and you will check and you will see that the triggering voltage it is exactly as you designed it is exactly as you designed here so 3.78 and here you have 3. something well, 
for that's it for today. I hope that you understood everything. So let me re-clear the, 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 the meaning of this. This is the first voltage that will be triggered and it will be held until the signal drops to 2.5. I, I will drop the link on the description. I hope this, that this video is very useful, but remember that in electronics what is important is to understand when to use this kind of circuits, because it is not important to, re to study all these formulas by heart, it is important to understand the physical meaning of these circuits. What I want you to understand is the physical meaning of this. Remember that. Thank you very much, guys. Hope that you understood everything. And let me and see you in the next video. See you in the next video, guys. Bye-bye.